and then they cover their tracks. It is unacceptable. Is the Compton Sheriff Station being run by the executioners, a gang of rogue deputies with matching tattoos? Sheriff Alex Villanueva denied it last week, but today Compton's own mayor, Asia Brown, shared her own experience being pulled over by Compton deputies in June of last year. And I rolled the window down and I asked why was I being pulled over. Within seconds, almost seven to, to nine sheriff's deputy vehicles descended upon the scene. They ordered me out of my vehicle and they asked me to put my hands on top of the police vehicle so they can search me as if I were a criminal. Mind you, I was accompanied by my husband and my infant daughter in the back seat. I do not look like someone that is trafficking drugs. I was in my family's family vehicle. Her baby crying, her husband and car search for drugs. Asia Brown says deputies let her go after they realized she is the mayor. But even after filing a complaint, Mayor Brown says she's received no satisfactory answers from the Sheriff's Department. It's unacceptable. We will send a clear message to the L.A. County Sheriff's Department that you clean your house. You get your house in order or we will surely help you do that. You have executioners, you have gangs in your own house. News of the executioners came to light last week in a claim filed by Compton Deputy Art Gonzalez. He says executioner deputies at the Compton Patrol Station celebrate shootings with tattoo parties, set illegal arrest quotas, and retaliated when he tried to blow the whistle. Compton community members say that sadly this is nothing new. Derek Cooper was arrested by Compton deputies last fall in front of the kids he leads in a youth academy. I don't even know what I'm being arrested for. I was shipped in a bus down to, excuse me, the county jail. I was so humiliated to be locked in a shower butt naked with over 200 men waiting to be processed. Jermel Henderson, a successful restaurant owner and new father, pulled over at gunpoint and detained last month by a Compton Sheriff's deputy. She hopped up the car very aggressive with her gun drawn. Like, for no reason, I asked her why she, why she was doing that. She said, oh, this is what we do in Compton, and it's, just, it's horrible. It's horrible. But time may be up for Compton deputies. City leaders say they're calling for a federal and state civil rights investigation, and they're exploring options to terminate their contract for law enforcement with the Sheriff's Department. We demand justice from the Compton Sheriff's, and we will no longer continue to pay you $22 million and up to take...